The violence and frustration continue in the U.S. and as the country gets even more divided than before, Trump said he would deploy thousands of armed soldiers and military personnel to Washington, D.C. On Monday, we also found out that the U.S. construction spending fell 2.9% in April, with the residential building down sharply. A sharp downturn in the U.K. manufacturing continued in May, but Australia's performance of manufacturing index was up in May. Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kiana Daniel, the founder of the Investiva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your Forex trading friends. On Tuesday, the big economic events are Australia's rate decision and GDP growth rate. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie dollar pair, which broke above the final resistance level from before the coronavirus downfalls and appears to be in a good shape to reach the highs of January 2020 in the medium term. With the risk events on the calendar, however, we could see a temporary pullback towards 0.67 and 0.65 before further gains. These levels could be considered an entry point for bullish traders. Have you jumped on the Aussie dollar uptrend? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading the financial markets involves the risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Take Me YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.